Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Danny and Troy Show. And we are number five out of seven. This is the fifth in the seven part series mm-hmm. for our brand story telling. Yeah, it's um that's appropriate um hand gestures there from Danny because we're talking about <laughs> movement. And that's a perfect example of how to express oneself. And we played with this as well. Imagine having mm-hmm. to tell a brand story with no words. What would you do? Ooh. Pantomime? That's right. You Charades? Have, yeah, something like that? Exactly. You have facial expressions. You have physical movements. You can pretend to be a, a, an animal, you know, or you can <laughs> act uh, out what a scene. That, But I tried it, and I couldn't do it for brand storytelling i'm not there yet i'm not saying i won't be able to do it but yeah I, you, I'm... you can do everything troy i know it i've been with you for a while sure it's just so... you know everything everything like my father once wrote i don't think it was original but uh his his quote was something like um you know every journey begins with a single step right sure that's right. So we'll we'll bring Billy Teal into this right now, and um, you got to start somewhere. Exactly. You, maybe you've already started and just don't know it, right? Because well, this this movement I was doing was impulsive, and you pointed it out, which is what we do for other people, right? We say you didn't even know you were moving. That's <laughs> just like, but but that that was you were. You weren't just indicating, you know, it's it's that's a, a, a horror story in acting. Right. To indicate means you go into a class and they say, be happy. And you start doing all that. Stuff. You're indicating happiness. What you need to do is to be happy or to go into your thinking. Right. Which results into an expression of happiness. Mm-hmm. And you do that through mo- movement. You know, this is movement as well. That's right. right. And it's just these little idiosyncratic things that we do that maybe we don't even know we're doing it. That once we become more and more aware, we use them as tools, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and that's a big part of my job. I'm Troy Sadowski, a data scientist from Australia. And this is what I love doing is finding tools that can help me do my job and and take Mm -hmm. things that um, are, for example, brand storytelling, which is Danny's expertise. I mean, he's a vast expert in many areas. And what we're talking about now is brand storytelling, but systemizing it and bringing Mm. it into building a tool. That's what I love doing. And that's right. Yeah, be on the software development side, or it can be a guide. And this is what we have, a guide, an activity kit, which is a tool to help people become aware you use the perfect words there danny it's like be Mm. aware of the tools that you have and movement Mm. is one of those fundamental tools that is so often overlooked sure yeah you know you can watch somebody move walking you know from one place to another and i'll bet it's not that difficult for you to tell their whole life story, right? That's great. Just based on how they how they walk. Maybe they pause somewhere, take another look, you know, look, look around, and that's all movement, you know, head movement. And those kinds of things from observation, we incorporate <clears throat> into ourselves one way or the other as a memory, uh, as a sense memory. How did you feel at that point in time? Sure. You know, when you watch that guy, because that's like uh, that's like <laughs> I wanted to say a cave, uh, but a tunnel back into your past. And when you see that picture again, <clears throat> you begin to feel what you felt at the time, you know, and it doesn't have to be in context, it can be totally out of context. But it's like a field of cotton, you know, 
waiting there to be picked. And, you know, you can just pick one ball at a time, whatever, um, from your memory of how that person moved and what it meant to you. And this is called sense memory, actually. And what you do is you go back into yourself as, as an actor, as a character, <clears throat> and you build on that. You don't have to be truthful. You don't have to re replicate. Um, but you just be aware of how you're feeling. And believe it or not, and I hate to be so um, scattered about this, but you will have a reaction. And that reaction will guide you into your own actions or your own movement, right? Cool. In replicating that character, not as that character was, but as you were at that time. And so that we might call that one off, but nevertheless, it brings forth a, um, a series of movements in yourself like this uh, grocery store manager that we were talking about, right? Well, this, this guy, me, you know, so go ahead. Yeah, please. Intro, go ahead. Because I want to, yeah, the activity kit um, will give a little overview of something to do. And relate. it's actually around performing a play. And yeah, we before we hit the record button, we're talking about that activity kit and the contents mm -hmm. of it and inside it is a story it's musings from the divine madman who is giving wisdom to every activity kit and in this particular activity kit talks about a grocery store manager and mm. many in, in the movement inspiration and the mimicking of this and yeah so i just wanted to give a little more context sure. about the grocery store manager so are you still in the flow or have I ruined it, Danny? Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. I'm glad you did that, actually. Great. Um, you know, I can still see this guy. Yeah. And it was like he was wearing a badge, you know, his limp. And it, it was, and I watched him for, for maybe a couple of months because I lived in this area for a couple of months and I would go shopping at this store. Mm -hmm. And I would watch him and he, he, continued to complicate his life right so that his limp got worse and worse until his i i interpret it as his dissatisfaction with what he was doing and how it was expressing itself in his body i don't believe that he actually had an injury that led to a limp mm. but he, yeah his his whole demeanor was cast into this character that he was creating for himself, mm -hmm. right? Sure. A kind of suffragette. It's like, yeah. I'm doing my job, you know, and I, you can tell you hate it, you know? And I actually remember I went up to him one day and you know, he had this sort of look like this where, you know, that's what the second part was, you know, he, mm. like he had a cramp in his neck. Yeah. And I walked up to him one day and I said, I'm sorry, can I ask you a question? And he said, sure as a grocery store manager, he said, yeah. And I said, do you like your job? And he went and walked off. Uh -huh. I remember that, you know? Wow. Now, if I ever get cast as a grocery store manager, yeah. you know, I go into that moment, into that oh. whatever, what capsule, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And go from there because in that moment, I had taken, and I believe, you know, people can actually see me as the grocery store manager, right? Well. Um, and go back to that moment and follow that character, I hate to say it, to his death, right? Okay. Because I think, and this is all my interpretation, of course, you know, and he's mm -hmm. just a, a minor role in this movie, you know, that I've been living in my whole life. But right. those movements betrayed yeah. him. It wasn't like, hey, how you doing, everybody? Good. Welcome to my store. You know, can I help you find something? Sure. You know, I know a guy like that, a black guy in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just totally into his job and he's focusing on, um, you know, things that are quality. I wanted to buy a watermelon from him one time um, that, I don't know, got dimpled or something. And I said, I'll give you half because you're going to throw it away. I know you are. And I'll give you half, you know, what you're asking for that watermelon. And he said, that watermelon is damaged and I'm not selling it to anybody. No. 
And it was just, you know, same job, but two people approaching it from the same, uh, from different directions. Sure. And I thought at that point in time, strangely enough, that if I was going to play a grocery store manager, depending on the script, what it was mm -hmm. I'm supposed to do mm -hmm. and where I wanted to go with it, yes. he's another choice I could use, right? Oh. If I wanted to be a happy guy. If, oh, you know, is... the, the script called for a guy in misery yeah. who works in, you know, well with the plot. Okay, I yeah. have one. This and is... then there's the other guy who principally, I wouldn't use any of his aff uh, affectations. I would use his determined eye for quality, you know, and running a store that he could be proud of because yeah. that wasn't the first, that wasn't the first grocery store manager's idea. Okay. So, you know, and then I begin to, to accumulate a, a, a list of characters yeah. that I could, I could put the grocery store manager in a jewelry store, right? Sure. The same thing. This is... But grocery, grocery store managers are rather reclusive than a jewelry store manager, you know, who has to have diamonds in his eyes. Sure. Yeah, and this is my job as I see it, <clears throat> taking what Danny's talking about right now and building mm. it into a kit, a, a tool mm. for people to become aware of their own life, their own characters and choose what Danny's talking about. Their own choices. About. Exactly. Their own choices. So when you say, well, it depends what the movie's about or the script, I'm not sure, <clears throat> but you're writing your script right now mm. for your own right. life. And you can yep. choose whether you play that, you know, uh, huddled over grocery store manager with the limp or the energetic, bright grocery store manager that will not sell you any damaged fruit. It's your choice. You have the characters inside of you that you can develop and also to choose to display. And these are the three words that are inside every activity kit. Define your character. Sorry, the, the character word sits on the end, but it's defined character. Develop character and display character. So that's right. We have yeah. a tool now that's available for people to make their life like Danny has experienced in his life and the movie making and acting aspect, bring that in for your own benefit and uh, enjoyment. This is what's good about it. It's just so fun to do. Yeah. I, I want to, I was in Taiwan um, uh, bridging on the, uh, the movie industry there because uh, well, and uh, I want th this brought to mind because there was an, an actor we were bringing to to the company that um, we wanted to, you know, introduce to the staff. It was not my idea. It was somebody else's idea. And at that moment in time, and I add this to this to this now, is that when you are becoming a character, the one thing you do want to ask yourself <clears throat> is i think i can say this better because i was going to say about fitting in mm. but the most intriguing characters i've seen are those who simply do their job right, right. walk on stage open a door and walk off and you're a genius and if you're a grocery store manager or whatever mm. and you know who you are yeah, you do that. You don't sure. look at the camera, right? Or you don't consider the audience. You just walk on stage, open a door, and walk off, and they'll call you a genius, right? Sure. If you try to, you know, make an impact, mm. then you know it's it's going to be a mistake. Yeah, that be, in in as much as when we live our lives, that's what we do. We go from here to there. We drive. There could be a camera. There could be an audience. There is an audience almost all the time, right? Uh, of of what's going on and how you fit in or not but sure. the most important thing is for you to accomplish your objective without thinking what anybody's thinking about it sure. you want to be totally absorbed totally involved in you exactly that's what and you know me. when you do that um you're you will amaze people because if you don't do that people will see that you're trying to stand out. Sure. That's not in the script, right? 
if you are directed to stand out, you become another character. And that has to fit within the plot. Whether the plot is your daily job or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a play or, or some comment in a conference or whatever. Sure. Just do your job and don't worry about what people think about it. Exactly. You know what you who you are well enough to execute that. And they will say, wow, that was genius. I've seen it a hundred times. Yeah. People who are not trying to make an impression, just simply, you know, being themselves, whoever that self is. Being themselves, being yourself. That's the whole major point of these activity kits. And it's the fundamental aspect is to find yourself, to find your character. Mm. And a lot of people yeah. just overlook it. They're not sure. They're bombarded with uh, the external audience. And so this is, mm. you mentioned the audience. Well, There's already yeah. somebody watching. Well put. There's mm. an external audience, but I want, when we're talking about the internal audience, you are your own audience. Yeah. You can watch your movement. And this is a great way to start. Just look at, of course, you can look at other people, look out the window. There'll be someone walking past here um you yeah. know every day study but them i say don't worry about them look at yourself first go for a walk and start thinking about how am i walking are you walking upright are you walking a little slouch? <laughs> are you you know you got a pace knuckle up. dragger <laughs> that's right you think and decide how do you want to walk in the, so this is the action and the movement movement aspect is just yeah so many um uh realms to that word it moved me <clears throat> it's a, a, a you know a feeling an emotion it, it the movement in that was amazing so yeah uh don't just be taken by moving as in a physical aspect but moving you from what well as it is moving the needle of your yeah. own measurement of success and that's how i look at things in, in the yeah. data science realm it, everything is moving it from one place to another and if you can mm. so yes yeah, i'm yeah. walking walking this way and i want to first of all be aware of how without like danny was saying um corrupting it no try don't try too hard just go for a walk and and yeah. be aware of how you're walking then decide okay well yeah i am a little slouch and probably why my back was hurting a little bit because i walk this way you walk with the chest down head up and and if that's natural and it feels good to you you can choose to develop mm. that character and display yeah. it from now on. That's a very important uh, point, Troy, because I was talking about going from the outside in, right? Taking sure. a model, following that model, see how that model affects me, yeah. and then and then go from there. The other way, which you just pointed out, is to come from the inside out. That's right. And the inside out is, you know, looking at yourself and saying to you to, uh, um, in a more authentic way, how would I be? as a grocery store manager or, or as a data scientist. And that picks out special parts of you and displays you as an uh, rather authentic in what you are saying without uh, depending on a model in your past or someone you, know, you, you chose. Well, that's if I was a grocery store manager, I think that's how I would act. Yeah. based on how I would feel about being a grocery store manager, right? Sure. Or how I would feel about being uh, a data scientist. Well, that those two are two different jobs, right? And one is rather internal, as we've seen our grocery store manager already is fighting with himself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one choice. Or the other choice is the guy who enjoys enjoy his job, right? I want mm -hmm. all the floors cleaned. I want everything, you know, all the bad fruit and vegetables removed on the same day and then you 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 utilize or incorporate all of those things within yourself in producing your own model of the character and how they move well right? i think yeah so, 
the perfect point there is like the from the acting world you have a huge challenge because you're not sure what script you're going to get but in the real world us what we're talking about now you can write your own script so you don't you have the power to say this is the story and for me yeah it, although i have worked in a grocery store before <clears throat> it's not mm -hmm. part of my future story it's what i'm a data scientist and i'm specializing in brand storytelling yeah. and i'm developing a company that provides consulting services that helps people and sells and promotes brand storytelling products and that's because mm. i can write the story i'm i'm set because yeah and this is where you can apply it and what what Danny's talking about bringing all these aspects a theatrical approach which yeah naturally Danny has a great ability to do but the beautiful part when you bring it to it's what we're talking about business development you can write your own script you don't have to think about whether <coughs> I'm going to be an angry grocery store manager or an happy one you have the power in your pen and this activity kit walks you through all of that mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people think that acting is pretending it's not acting is being right yeah and you can choose who to be that's right, right. you can this, and so. this way you actually cultivate the I want to say set and characters around you, right? You influence all of those other characters by your choice of who you are, how you move, how you speak, you know, what you represent. And believe it or not, that has a great deal to do with creating um, your company or, yeah. you know, your ensemble or people around you or your club or however you plan to use this exercise, right? Yes. And it's, it's a conscious effort. This is where most people uh, go wrong is because they think, OK, the time I'm on stage, honey, you're on stage all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. And you can get lazy or you can lose your own belief and what you're doing and start questioning yourself. And, you know, I don't think that's beneficial. It could be depending, you know, on different factors. But if you're looking and you're, you're a public person right look at the you you are presenting to other people right and i mean just as an exercise i'm not asking you right. you know to be this way all the time unless you choose right because most people are you know turned on when they go to work depending on their job or they they turn it off when they go home or yes. they've come to the realization that they're this way all the time right right that they don't have to be a certain way when they go to their job. And sometimes when they think that way, they should quit. <laughs> right? Well, if you're not happy, you're not enjoying yourself, you're not fulfilling yourself, well, then you have been miscast. Sure. Something, have, you know, to look at. That's right. We have an activity kit called the casting that will help you go through those aspects as well. Um, we are talking about whole life development, not just business yep. development. These things will help you in your general life. As I mentioned a number of times before, even my mother is interested. She doesn't, she's not an entrepreneur, but I mean, she has an entrepreneur mindset, actually. So mm -hmm. she has a number of inventions she wishes she had have developed, but <clears throat> it is for we everybody. We can help her. Mm -hmm. It will help her and has already helped her doing these activity kits so if you are yeah in this space we, we are designing them right now for entrepreneurs and we have a new one coming up after this one which is the voice you now you talked about the speech and the, using your voice and yeah i won't give away too much on that one you also mm -hmm. mentioned the being on stage it's every activity kit is inspired by shakespeare uh, monologue which is all the world's a stage and you'll get to know intimately that monologue and every activity kit comes with an nft a non-fungible token so if you are the first to buy that kit in that series you will get the original nft and yeah uh, it's all available on 
datalogicalservices.com forward slash on stage. And thanks for watching, everybody. And yeah, please do subscribe, give us a thumbs up and mm -hmm. comment. We're really keen to know who you are and, and, and learn more about you. Absolutely. Come join us. Thank you, Troy. Thank you.